welcome back to our daily discussion of Voltus 5 Legacy. Tara, samahan niyo ako for episode 71. Simulan na natin. The hashtag for today's episode is under attack. The hashtag for today may pertain to the Camp Big Falcon being attacked again by a traitor. As mentioned by Dr. Hook having a discussion on the assassination attempt on Jamie. Though it may really be better if this is used for the next episode but I am seeing that this may really be after all for Jamie's circumstance of attack. Will it be successful? Let's find out on today's episode. Nighttime at the Camp Big Falcon, Mark explained further that Draco and the Buzinian guards were not captured. Hook understood how Buzinians are capable of escaping their grasp on them. Steve said that the targets are all along the pilots of the Voltus team, first on Jamie before and now the Armstrong brothers. Hook reminded them to be careful. Steve looked at Mark but has no problems on the new protocol of Voltus pilots not allowed to go outside the Camp Big Falcon without security. Hook asked both of them to inform their teammates. After exiting Hook's office, Steve thanked Mark for helping out and reached out to Mark to settle their indifferences and wants to work it out for the sake of their team. Mark agreed on this and shook hands with Steve. Mark went away and Steve was left alone on the hallway. Back to the Bozan Underground headquarters, Zandra told Zardas that the possibility of the Armstrong brothers being Bozanians are what makes them victorious against them. Zardas can't help but get angry as he doesn't seem to have any acceptance of the royal blood beyond earthly humans regarded as slave. Zardas told the generals that they can't be Bozanians as he was able to be with them when he was in the Camp Big Falcon. Draco reasoned out that Steve is bulletproof and even the bacterial experiment he made was ineffective as well. Zardas asked further on the experiment he made. Draco explained his doubts on the Voltus team's origins and long time he had planned the experiment. Zardas dismissed this and went away. Draco made his points on Zandra and Zandra have hypothesized of them being Bozanians without horns and perhaps be Bozanian slaves. Draco remembered Rothgar taking refuge on Earth and may be their origin of Armstrong's Brazilian blood. Zandra paused to herself in disbelief. Back on the Camp Big Falcon, the next day at the cafeteria, Big Bird is warned of them being subject of discussion among the Camp Big Falcon employees. Reserve cadets PJ, Ali, and Thomas approach the Armstrong brothers regarding the rumors of them being half Bozanian. Steve told them that they really are, though he looked annoyed as he can't help but say the truth. Ava arrived and told them that she doesn't mind of Steve having Bozanian blood. Thomas apologized in behalf of his callous friends. PJ, Thomas, and Ali went away and Ava sit on the table with Steve and Big Bird. Jane came looking for Ali but saw Ava. Big Bird offered her to sit with them but it was an awkward situation. Jamie excused herself from them and Big Bird followed afterwards. Upon seeing the situation for Steve and Ava, Ava confronted Steve of his status on Jamie. Steve explained that it's Jamie and Mark who had a relationship before and not them. Ava felt relieved on this but slightly said that that may be the reason why Steve and Jamie can't be together. It's because of the bro code. Steve fell into silence and looked away from her. Steve is in the viewing deck of Camp Big Falcon, waiting for Jamie to come outside. Alas, Jamie is on the scene and Steve approached her. Steve confronted Jamie on her trying to ignore him as they are teammates. Jamie agreed on that and told him as long as she does her job, Steve doesn't need to owe anything on her. Jamie is already contented on this as she doesn't want to hold any hope for him. Steve was left frozen and all along, Ava heard everything on Steve and Jamie's conversation. Ava showed herself up on the scene as Steve seated. Ava begged Steve to let Jamie be on her own and accept Ava in his life. Steve apologized for giving Ava mixed signals as Ava felt hopeful for them to be back together. Ava felt bad on this and Steve went away. At the control room, Hook followed up on the case of assassination attempt on Jamie. Edwards answered that there is no resolution yet but they never stopped the investigation and assured as well that they will do their best to capture the traitor inside the Camp Big Falcon. The scene shifted to little John looking at the old staff of his father, Ned Armstrong. Steve came in and asked little John what he is up to. Little John explained that he remembers their dad and asked Steve if their father words on them 
wherever he is. Steve assures him that their father is thinking about them and told him that even though their father is a Bozenian, he is a kind person. And with that, he knows that their father is thinking of them. Little John finally have said that truly they are Bozenian in blood from their father as this explains the extraordinary features they have. Little John mentioned of Manuel being Bozenian that he felt a close one and Steve corrected him as Zardos, an enemy as he is not the same as their father. Steve told him to remember that so as not to be fooled again. A meeting was once held again in the Buzanian underground headquarters with Zandra, Zardos, Draco, and Oslak. Zandra made her own separate research on Ned Armstrong's origins as well when Zul was alive. Zandra shared the result of her own research regarding Rothgar and the connection he has with the Armstrong brothers. Zardas thought that it's impossible as the Armstrong brothers are from the bloodline of Ned Armstrong. Zandra shared to everyone that Ned Armstrong is not existing on the database of registry of birth on earth and this is a solid proof of Ned Armstrong being a Buzanian and is the same person as Rothgar. Zandra told Zardas that it's possible and Zardas got his blood boiling with anger for having a far-fetched idea that Zardas failed to kill Rothgar and got a family of his own here on planet Earth. Zardas can't believe on this hypothesis and just denied this as he knows for sure that he killed Rothgar back in the Bozan planet. Zardas commanded them to look for a way to defeat the Voltus team rather than having a pointless impossible ideas about their enemy. Back to the Bozan planet, Oslak informed Zambojil of the news of Zardas having some information from the research and experiment of Zandra and Draco. Zambojil was relieved that Zardas did not believe any of it. He commanded Oslak to be eyes and ears of Zandra Zambojil on the side of Zardos. Oslak should make sure to follow the plans of Zardos as Zambojil doesn't want Zardos win the conquest and be declared as hero on Bozan planet. Zardos needs to be killed as soon as possible and Oslak assured him that he made his preparations already. Back to the Camp Big Falcon, Jamie just got inside the training room and the lights went out suddenly. A mysterious Kendo armored person attacked her with a blood sword stick and Jamie is hit at the back as she was about to call for support on the lights that are cut off in the room. An intense battle ensued which ended with Jamie being shot by the mysterious figure. Jamie lay lifeless on the ground. At the control room, Hook was informed of the dire situation Jamie is in. Jamie is reported to be in the medical bay and asked Anna to convey a message on Dr. Alonso to make sure that they do their best to take care of Jamie. Steve and Big Bird came into scene and was informed of the news. Steve was asked to go to the medical bay to support Jamie. Steve went out and the episode ended with Big Bird in disbelief. This is the summary of episode 71, part 1 of our discussion video. If you like this video, please do smash the like button, subscribe and hit the bell button for you to follow me and be updated with my new uploaded videos. Please head on to part 2 for the interesting points of this episode. See you there!